Business Center's heavy construction edition can perform fast, accurate quantity estimates from many different types of data, as well as build very accurate 3D models for GPS. Managing project data within Business Center's heavy construction edition is fully integrated with Trimble's construction field systems. Data management is part of the core product of Business Center, which can be downloaded off Trimble's website for free. You could generate the files needed for your machine control and site positioning systems directly out of Business Center after creating the 3D model. So all of your processes are integrated into one software platform. We will show you how easy and seamless the files can be synchronized to your data collectors and copied to your machines, or better yet, synchronized remotely via our cloud solution, the connected community powered by Trimble. To get started, we simply drag the project's files into Business Center's plan view. We have a surface, the control points, a site calibration, line work, and an avoidance zone. Now that the data is in, we will step down through the field data menu to create files for your GCS and SPS GPS systems. In the controller manager, we set up your data collectors and machines that you will send data to. Next, we will create a job site for the subdivision. Once you have named the site, you add the controllers and machines to the project, and then simply select the control points you want to copy to the data collectors, either graphically on screen or by layer. You can add avoidance zones as well. They could be wetlands that you need to stay out of, or water mains, fiber optic lines, or an area where people could get hurt, like a steep drop off. When the machines or rovers get close to the avoidance zone, they will be warned with a flashing screen and an audible alarm. Now you create the job site design and select the controllers you want to send the data to. This checkbox here, Synchronize Business Center Data via Office Synchronizer, is how you send your job site data to VisionLink's 3D and 2D project monitoring. We select your surface model. You have the option of clipping out just a portion of the model. Then we build our design map. This is the selectable features and boundaries used in the site controllers to stake out points, features, alignments, and surfaces in the field. As you can see, Business Center makes it easy to build the files for the field. Business Center can also create work orders instructing the field crews what to do with the design data. Trimble's SCS 900 field software for stakeout and measurement is a task-oriented software that organizes the data very neatly so field crews simply select the work order and go to work. You shouldn't see your layout crews sitting in their truck or job trailer creating the data they need to start the day. This provides a crew management tool that reduces confusion by letting you communicate to the field crews what they need to do and controlling the way data gets used and collected on the job site. In this work order, we are instructing our crew to topo the intersection. We set the task to measure surface and site features, set grid to 10, horizontal to 10, and vertical to 1. Select the correct surface design, the priority for this task is high, due date is tomorrow, and give them some instructions. Measure as built topo of the intersection. You're now ready to synchronize the data collectors to your computer. SES Data Manager and Site Vision Office are no longer required. We will do the remote synchronization via Office Synchronizer, sending the data to the connected community, Trimble's cloud-based data hub. Only one requirement is your rovers and machines have an internet connection. Trimble's data collectors already have these capabilities. For your machines, we just install an SNM 940 connected site gateway to synchronize with the connected community. Your computers and machines can be set to auto-synchronize so you can be assured that your design data is never out of date and your machines are always grading to the most current design. Open the work order. See how all the files are loaded automatically? We confirm the work order. Since we loaded an avoidance zone, it warns your field crew to stay out of that area. Our instructions to topo the intersection are displayed. Now let's measure some data. Using SES 900's advanced measurement module, we can use a standard set of feature codes when collecting data. If you have multiple crews, imagine having all data standardized when you bring it back into Business Center. Business Center's Surface Tools module then can display the symbols for the site features your crews collected. This means all lines and points will be layered and colored the way you want them to be. We will start with the curb lines. From the Quick Pick, we select Curb, then start to take our shots. When we come to the Radius, we select Curve Fit, and then all we have to do is shoot at the start, somewhere in the middle, and then at the end. See how it is dashed? When it comes back into Business Center, 
it will fit that curve. We shoot in the other curve, same thing. The start, somewhere in the middle, and at the end. Select CL from our quick picks, and shoot in the center line. Then we will collect some sight features, like this fire hydrant. The option to name the point comes up. Then we select MH for manhole from the quick pick, and then take a shot. Type in the point name, diameter, and invert depth. Next, let's topo the lot pads. It isn't in the quick pick, so we can go up here and grab it. Shoot in the four corners. We also have a close break line command, so they come back into business center as areas. Then the other pad. The four corners once again, then select break line. Now for this tree. Select it from your library. We are prompted for the type of tree. Put in notes if you choose, like needs water. Measure the trunk radius and the drip radius, and the Aspen will come in scaled into Business Center. We are done with the as built. We go to Work Order, Export to the Connected Community, sync a site with the Connected Community. Our Work Order results go up to the cloud and back down to your office without anyone having to drive to or leave the job site. What you will notice in Business Center is there is now a green checkbox next to the work order's name. Simply right click on the work order and select Import Work Order Results. This is where Business Center's Heavy Construction Edition really sets itself apart with how it works with field data. Here is our as built surface automatically generated, curbs fitted like they should be, the hydrant and manhole, and look. Our Aspen with its 2 foot trunk and 20 foot drip radius performs seamlessly with Trimble's SES 900 Advanced Measurement Module and Business Center's Surface Tools. How much dirt was moved in this area? Before we run the report, let's look at a 3D view. The enhanced graphics and visualization will give you the confidence that the quantities are correct. Now just go up to Reports, select Earthwork Report. We will do a surface to surface calculation from the as built versus the finished design. And here is the results. When we said earlier that Business Center's Heavy Construction Edition is fully integrated with Trimble's construction field systems for data management into one seamless platform, this is what we meant. Yeah.